look closer on this 3D view. And uh, this is our main work windows. So we have it four different views. We can always readjust them. Even we disable docking from before, but we can customize resizing them if we want to keep them all in same view. As well, we can change the position or we can change um, what we preview. Currently, by default, you can see it's a stop view, side view, front view, main camera view. We can always click down on the square with arrow and we can modify by maximizing and restoring. If you remember, it's creating full screen. We just need double time click on top. So it's bring back if you don't want to use it menu. Okay. And right here we have a top view, front view, side view, main view and perspective view. So we can assign two main cameras view, for example. Okay. We can have a two side views or you can reposition. So let's go back to our top view position so you can readjust those windows as you like. Um, in some applications you may have a different positioning so you can simulate to what application you wanted. You can also do the simulations from go inside file options and inside general preferences you can preload a specific interface preset but we'll look on those ones a little bit more in the future. So we have it now we start looking on some options and you notice we have these two icons, one which is related to the global or just the window preset. Second, we have it our render and you can see we have it fast render or if you long click, you can select predefine what you want. Currently it's a preview. You can select final broadcast super ultra or user settings on the renders similar that you can define right in render options right here. Also, one nice thing is to kind of remember, it's a what windows currently active. And this is get very important when we start using with animations. Let me show you as example. So you notice a top view is active. It's a blue color by default. You can customize these colors in your file options. So I'm going to create this here. Okay, I'm going to add timeline and add keyframe to our sphere. We'll go just move slightly this way and readjust sphere. So at this moment, if I want to go ahead and preview in main camera my animations, I can drag arrow. But you notice it is updating, but it's not prioritizing on the render. The active window is what get prioritization. So if I want to see in my main camera how smooth it will work, I need to activate this window to give it higher priority on preview render. And then you can notice it's going smooth. Does mean other windows still updating, but they're not in the priority of updating this. So right here you can see that is kind of nice to remember when you start working with the animations or other properties, you know, maybe say it's for some reason does not update it. I don't see how it's going. Be sure you have it active view for the prioritization for render. So let's go ahead look. We look on some of this perspective view. Next we have how the object inside of this current view will render. And they're going from the lightweight wireframe to the best quality. But again from taking almost no time to render to the heavier load on your video card to render. And this is important if you start using um, smooth shaded for your with a lot of ecosystem you'll notice when you're navigating it's take a little bit longer you can decrease by going with just fill box or wireframe or you can also um, using different options like show um, only object from active layer so we'll look on those ones in a second so right here we have a different type of the renders and let's go ahead for example we'll go select the cube And as preview in main window, so we can see it's wireframe, just box. Okay, we have it fill it. Wireframe, if you have it more mesh wireframe, you'll see more right now for the cube. It looks same as the um, first box with the limit. So we have it simple. Depending on if you have an OpenGL video card or other ones. 
flood shaded will be enabled. Currently for mine is disabled and we're going to smooth shading. So for the purpose of tutorials, this is what I will go use in our previous tutorials. But again, you can always modify and change it. So the next, we also have a show fog in view. This is will enable OpenGL uh, fog render in your views. And when you enable, you notice now, okay, let me go ahead and select this one. Okay, you'll notice two other options is enable a density from atmosphere that is based on the atmosphere settings or adjust fog density. And this, if you select, you'll notice our mouse switch up and down kind of arrow so we can left click and we can go and adjust how we want this density of the fog. On this property, I do recommend if you don't necessarily need it unchecked showing because that will um, take additional render time on your video card. Next property, we have the refresh sky. This is if you have some clouds and other things you want to update and force it. You can click refresh and you can see it's kind of updating the clouds. This is will refresh in all views. Next, we have a show only object from active layer. And this way, if we create additional layer, and for example, we create a sphere. At this point, if I'm going and says show only object, you'll notice other object is disappear in all views, and we preview only sphere. This has become very useful when you have too many objects and mostly with ecosystem and you want to isolate specific object and maybe paint over. On this case, layering will help. It will reduce loaded on your video card, will make performance quite a bit faster to work. And notice if we select different layers, it will appear back. You always can go ahead and re-enable. So it will now showing all of them. Okay, we have other options light from the scenery so if you enable and we have a different source of light that will help us to determine but one thing and preview you need to remember that view if you have it light from scenery and you have an additional light source the view in preview will render up to eight lights objects so if you have a little bit more some of them won't be get effect on this again this is only affecting our render preview same like layers the layer selection will affect only your preview. When you render, all layers will be rendered that is enabled and all lights will be rendered. So next we're using reference pictures and show last render in the back. And this is very important when we start placing on a back and try to reference. These options, same as show only selected objects, this for example, affecting those properties we will use it as we're going in our tutorials when we start creating scenery but just overall they're very useful and provide us with a reference for example we can preload it reference pictures when we start creating mountains and sceneries and if we need to adjust the position object show last render will help us reference the image we render before so we can reposition or readjusting or rescaling how we want to do it so these is additional options and they do affect the currently top view that we um, or view that we're currently selecting these properties.